Welcome to your daily vocalization number one. We're going to start with some very basic things for singing today, assuming you know absolutely nothing. First of all, we're going to talk about posture, okay? Let's start with a feeling of our shoulders. We do not want to press our shoulders back and we don't want to be slunching like this, okay? We need to have <clears throat> our shoulders down our back, but not pressed, all right? So down. You can take your shoulder blades in the back and imagine they're angel wings and you're just pulling them down while lifting the chest bone, okay? That's gonna give us the most open space in our abdomen so that when we breathe, we can fill that space down there, okay? So let's practice, let's all get like this. Let's pretend we're sitting in math class and we're super bored. Okay, now it's time to sing. Okay, so we're gonna get, get up tall, get our spine long, our shoulders down our back, not pressed, but just down, our chest lifted, and take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale. Okay, the next thing is, where are you breathing, okay? Most people, when they take a breath, and they say take a deep breath, this happens. And all this tension happens in the neck, the shoulders go up, the, they breathe up into the breastbone. There's, it's really a very, like that. That's not how we breathe when we sing. For singing, we're going to take a nice low breath and we're gonna, I'm gonna move this down. Excuse me. So, we want to breathe into this space, right? So our shoulders are back, everything's open, and we're gonna inhale. And we breathe into that space. We do not want to go up in here. So get your posture right and take a nice low breath. Inhale. And this area should expand. That's because your diaphragm muscle is pulling down and all the gooey stuff in your stomach gets pushed out of the way. Then just exhale. We're going to talk about support later. So try it again. Good posture. Spine, shoulder blades down chest lifted, inhale, and exhale, do it again, inhale, and exhale, okay, you can practice that as many times as you want, but we're going to stop that for now in the video. <clears throat> so now that we've talked about breathing, and you know you can practice that all the time, let's work on Elliptro. So get your posture right, get your abdomen open, take a nice low breath, and then you're going to go just like that. A lot of students have a hard time creating that sound. Two problems end up happening. One, their nose starts to itch. That's pretty simple to fix. You'll just place your hand on your nose while you elliptro. That'll stop the vibrations and the consequential, is that a word? The subsequent itching. <laughs> um, then the other thing is they just can't make the lips do that. They just are like, I can't make my lips do that. Well, I've never had a student who couldn't eventually do it. I will say I had one student, it took them three years to get a good lip trail going, but once they did, um, they're their performances just in, uh, improved dramatically, right? It's, because it's all about managing our breath and using it the way we want to to express the songs that we're singing. So if you can't get your lips to trill, put your hands on your sides of your cheeks so that it helps. Go ahead and give it a shot now. Okay. It looks silly, it sounds silly, but it's a very effective technique for singers to use when they feel like they just can't get their breath under them or a phrase is just not working. You can sing the phrase on a lip trill and usually it'll fix it just like that. Okay, let's try one more. Get your posture right, shoulder blades down, abdomen open, inhale and lip trill, ready? Great. The next one we're gonna do is a siren. A lot of people do this incorrectly, in my opinion. 
Uh, the way I would like for you to do it is on a nice ooh vowel, very close, not open wide, it's too much, too loud, too wild, and it actually could cause, potentially cause damage. With the small ooh, if you're ever feeling like you've got vocal swelling or fatigue, um, you can use this simple warm up to kind of massage the vocal folds, okay? So it's very effective in voice therapy when people get nodes and polyps. This is something that is used in helping to retrain the voice and to heal it from damage. So it's just a, a light ooh. We're gonna start kind of high, but not too high. Let's just do a C. I think this is C, I'll just pick a note. My keyboard wasn't on. Just like that, simple, simple. Things that will happen if you have a rough spot in your voice, um, you might sound like you're yodeling. It could go, oh, it's usually two, one at the top and one at the bottom. That's okay, it's normal. What you need to do is just slow down your rate of descension and speed up your weight, rate of breath, okay? So let's try it again. You don't have to match my speed, you do what's right for you. So I heard a little hiccup in my voice at the top, so I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, that was better. So you practice that as many times as you need to till you can smooth it out, okay? And anytime you're feeling tired, just pull this exercise out. It's easy to do, you can do it anywhere. Okay, now also guys, you should be singing as high as I just did. Men have a unique uh, range. They have their before voice and their after voice, okay? When you are an adult, your after voice is really low, but before when you're young, your voice is way up here. You never actually lose those notes, but you have to exercise them to keep them. and working on your this part of your voice and smoothing down will actually make your bigger low notes bigger more healthy as you uh, use them so let's work on unison we're just seeing a nice ooh on a high but not too high for guys c everybody should match that pitch it should be light and it should be just like that and it should not sound like this or this. It should be only one note. Because an octave, although it's a C still, it's not C5, it's C4. And you need to sing C5. So let's do it again. Good. Now we're gonna do a descending five note scale. Low notes for me, because I'm a soprano, they're starting to get to where my voice wants to shift. I have to work hard to keep them light. Everybody's gonna have a different point where that happens. The low notes are probably also gonna be hard for the boys at this point if they haven't practiced this technique before, because this is where your voice wants to shift into full voice. to practice and I'd like you to use this video and practice every single day it's 10 minutes nine and a half uh, minutes of your life but it'll greatly improve your singing skills so that's all for today and I'll send you another one in a week